night at the farewell prayer service and lunch. How is everything? Hello dear, you look pretty as you did when you were the house captain when we were in school. Thank you so much for the lovely compliment and guess what? nominated for the Miss Universe Contest from our college. Hey, ma'am is calling us. Everyone is ready. I think it's time to get going with the program. I'm so excited. I'm excited too. See you all. Take your seats and meet you after the event. to the annual alumni meet MILAP. Every year the school organizes MILAP for students like us who have graduated from this wonderful institution to relive the fond memories associated with our alma mater and share how we have fared with our lives for the better. It is such an auspicious day to come together. It's presentation day. But presentation day is tomorrow. That is 21st November. I know dear, but don't you remember? It's holiday on 21st November. As our dear sisters celebrate the big day. It holds great significance for them and us. As it's the day of very foundation of presentation congregation. God's blessing that has seen the presentation congregation grow from an acorn to an oak tree. Yes, the Almighty makes use of the weakest means to bring about his purposes. With God's blessings, nothing is impossible is what we learn from our school days. I request everyone to take a comfortable posture, sit back and put on your of reflection for an inspiring play our students are putting up before you. May this program awaken within us the zeal to welcome the call that God has planned for each one of us. Vulnerable Nano Nagel, 
who derived her strength from the sacred heart of Jesus and Mary who was chosen by God to be the mother of Jesus and was born to fulfill the plans of God. In Thanksgiving, her parents, Saints Anne and Joachim presented her in the temple. Mary is our intercessor to Jesus who witnessed his first breath and also saw his sacrifice on the cross. Mary brought with her the light of faith and accepted God's will to bring our Savior into the world.
all in my power. This sense of nano resounds to the heart of her followers. Let us vow to flame the light much brighter and make this world a better place for every living being. I hope you enjoyed the program and as we conclude this event, we hope you take back the message of love that Venerable Nano believed and practiced in her life. Thank you dear students for this soul stirring program. I am sure Nano's benevolence shines upon all of us associated with the PCS family. Let us take a pledge to keep the lantern of Nano shining. We request our alumni to relive their memories by having a small walk in and around the school campus. spot under the big people tree and have a hearty conversation. Let's become the cool PCSers and really live our memories together. Joy and have something to take back from this thoughtful depiction. Absolutely. But there's one thing we miss in the speech. We miss everyone telling to follow the path of venerable Nano Nagel. Something which is deeply in vision of our school, mission and curriculum. But what do you mean by the path of Venerable Nano? It is the essence of Venerable Nano Negro that we carry within us and that is how we have reached great heights and our great positions, earning a little real sum of money Join all worldly pleasures. How are you all, my dear little girls? Who? Who is that? What's that song? I am your favorite tree. I'm the one who witnessed your joy and sorrows, laughter and cries. How can you forget me? Good old tree, am I hallucinated or are you really speaking to us? Ha ha ha, it's really me. I heard you say that you are at great positions in life. But take a moment of silence and pause. Reflect, are you on the right path? Path? Which path are you talking about? An ancient path, yet a new horizon. More than three hundred years Never know. 
and things take a turn. So live accordingly. Remember those old days when you were taught to be selfless and remain. Remember when you rebel Nano Nagel who took the tough roads all alone and moved ahead with determination and faith. Her faith took her to establish a congregation which she started with just three sisters. She never thought about herself. Value of selflessness. Kindness. Read 
of God to reign supreme in our words and deeds. Born more than 300 years ago, who could have guessed the abundance Nano and her daughters and sons would have poured out on the very world of her days centuries later? Our hearts are filled with wonder and humble gratitude. We stand where they once stood, listening, hearing in our own world life's insistent cry and the Spirit's voice. Let us join with Nano in our sincere efforts to bring the reign of God in our times as we hold her as our role model and inspiration to make a difference in this world of ours. Bidding adieu to you all. Take care until we meet again. And a happy presentation day to each one of you.